Many residents of a Casey neighborhood are returning home after a voluntary evacuation was issued during the aftermath of Hurricane Helene. The Congaree River, as many of you know, reached major flood stage and that had a lot of people concerned. That came after torrential rainfall in the upstate and North Carolina all flowed downstream. The Riverland Park neighborhood sits parallel to the river. That means homes and the property in that area were heavily impacted. WIS reporter Naomi Popa joins us live now from that neighborhood. Naomi, you visited with them a couple of times during the week, talking to residents who decided to stay, neighbors who decided to evacuate. What's the assessment of the damage left behind? Well, Judy, Hannah, just taking a look, you can see a lot of homes experienced extensive flooding after Hurricane Helene, while others in this neighborhood on higher ground did not. But regardless, everyone I'm speaking with telling me that recovery is going to take a while. Now, Old State Road is the road that leads up to this neighborhood. And because of its position near the Congaree, city officials raised concern over flooding. Now, two residents who decided to evacuate told me they made the decision because they felt unsafe with the rising water levels, while several other Others I spoke to tell me flooding was not a concern for them because it never has been. Paul Dooley is one of those. He has lived in his home for several years and tells me he made the call to stay after monitoring the levels himself. As it progressed uh, that night, like I said, turned around and checked, checked again to see where it was and uh, it wasn't coming close to our house. So I didn't, I wasn't concerned about leaving that particular day. Um, and of course, in the morning we just kept watching what was going on around the neighborhood. Now, Dooley tells me in areas of the neighborhood that saw greater flooding, he witnessed a family being evacuated from their home via boat because of the water conditions. And just down the road, one homeowner I spoke with tells me nearly three feet of water poured into his crawl space, which caused damage to his entire heating and cooling system. Now, Henry WIS News at 6, I'll show you just how high those water levels got for some residents and why some are comparing the effects of Hurricane Helene to those of the thousand year flood in 2015. For now, reporting in KC, I'm Naomi Popa, WIS News 10. Hi, Naomi, thank you for that update. You can learn more about the initial Riverland Park neighborhood and volu voluntary evacuation on our website at WISTV.com. Well, the Salvation Army and our parent company, Gray Media, are teaming up to help raise money for hurricane relief. If you'd like to be a part of that effort, we'd love to have you on our team. All you have to do is scan the QR code and it will take you straight to the donation page. Your donation will have a direct impact on everything from emergency aid to food, even emotional care and spiritual support. Long-term re recovery services will be assisted as well. Again, scan the QR code for more information.